to Kristen DIY and I'm Kristen and this is my YouTube channel where I show you how to flip furniture for profit. Um, today I have this beautiful antique buffet that is actually a custom piece and uh, my client wanted a gel stain, just a little bit of darker on the top and a painted bottom in a kind of like an off-white color. Um, so. Today I'm going to be showing you how to scuff sand, which is just a light sanding. Normally when I use an all-in-one paint, which is typically what I use if I'm not going to distress furniture, um, I don't do a lot of sanding because you don't have to. Um, so I'm not going to be sanding the bottom because I'll be using this all-in-one paint. And all-in-one, um, for those of you who are new to painting, it has the primer, the paint, and the top coat and I love it. It's amazing. Um, there are several different kinds out there, but the kind I use is Heirloom Traditions, um, and today it's, I'm going to be using the linen color. Um, I'm also going to be scuff sanding the top and using a gel stain, which I love because it's just so much easier than stain and it's not as messy. Um, and so what I use for this is Mini Wax Gel Stain, and you can just get this at Home Depot or Ace or anywhere. And I'm going to be using the walnut color because it is just a little bit darker than what I already have. Um, so, today I'm going to start by scuff sanding, and I will be using my Bosch sander with a grid of 220. And when you're scuff sanding, it's just a light sanding to get any particles, dirt, and maybe any coat, um, like poly coat or anything shiny off of off of the wood. Um, it's not, you don't want to sand for a long time down to the bare wood. You just want to do a light sanding and then obviously clean it. Okay. Okay, now that we have the top lightly scuff sanded, I'm just gonna take a little piece of sandpaper that I have, um, it's 120 grit, and I'm just gonna go around and get in the grooves um, where my hand sander could not get to. Okay, so now the top has no shine, and we can see all the dust um, we definitely need to get that cleaned off and we'll also need to clean the drawers and then remove the hardware. Now I'm just going to take my water and vinegar and remember it's three parts water, one part vinegar and just spray it down. Okay, I um, saved you the boringness of showing you how to remove hardware. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and you can see I took the drawers out, wiped those out, cobwebs and everything, the dust. Um, so now I'm going to apply the first coat of the gel stain. I like to use just disposable gloves because it is hard to get off your hands. Um, and living in a dry climate, it is a pain washing your hands and having them crack all the time. For the gel stain, there is a, it's a very thick consistency if you've never used it. Um, I'm using a kitchen plastic knife because I'm out of my paint six, um, but whatever works. You just want to make sure that you mix it up really well. You do want to use a lint free cloth um, just so you don't get any of that lint on your piece. Wipe it on. You, I usually wait five to ten minutes and then you wipe it off. Um, and you will see the color stays. So I just take my cloth and I give it a nice smooth rub down. Uh, 
Okay, so there is the first coat with the wax coat. I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back with a clean cloth and wipe it all down. Okay, so I let the gel stain sit for 10 minutes and so now I'm just gonna come back with a dry cloth and just wipe it completely down. And this is just to get any excess off and to make sure that it's in all of the grooves and everything and it looks nice and smooth. See, there's really not a whole lot to wipe off, but you just wanna make sure that you go ahead and do that. Okay, so I actually am not a huge fan of this color right now, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat of the gel stain. Um, so I'm going to put it on a little bit thicker, a little bit more. Um, if you put it on really thin and you just rub it in, it's honestly not going to change that much. But if you leave it, and I think that, I think that was my problem and why it didn't really look too much darker after the first coat, um, which I haven't used gel stain in a while, so I really did forget that you need to leave it on and not rub this in. You just want it to be an actual coat that you can see sitting there. That is gonna turn out a lot better. So now I'm going to let this rest for another 10 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll wipe that down. Okay, we have put applied the second coat a little thicker this time and just let it set for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to take another cloth and just lightly wipe that down. Oh yeah, that is looking much darker and I like that a lot more. That is the color that I was going for. Okay, I'm liking that a lot more. Um, it's a little bit darker than it was at the start, um, but not too drastic. Okay, so we will let that dry. Usually, I let it dry for a few hours and then I apply the top coat. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for now. And then we will get started with painting the bottom portion. Okay, here we go. We have the gel coat on top and now we are ready to paint the piece. Um, so, one decision that you will need to make is if you are wanting to paint the entire inside, just the inside of the doors, or completely leave them. Um, what you need to know if you're just beginning is that a lot of time, a lot of times people don't care. They don't care if the inside is painted. They don't care if the inside of the door is painted. And honestly, on a lot of these pieces, I will just leave it just like this um, and just paint the entire outside. And I love it too with the natural wood because you open it up and you see the beautiful wood inside and it kind of matches. Um, the thing is, most people don't care. You cannot paint the inside at all and you can still make really good money from this. It can be so simple and I just don't want people to think that you have to spend hours taping and you have to paint the whole inside because it is not true at all. Um, so I went ahead and I did put some painters tape along the edges um, because I am just going to paint the outside and so that just makes it nice when you open the door there's not paint hanging over um, which I have done in the past and then I ended up just painting the inside of the door which also looks nice. Um, so don't worry about if you don't want to waste the time painting the inside um, and you don't have to tape it. Okay, so 
This is a step that I like to do when I'm leaving the doors as is. Okay, so now we're going to grab our paint. And again, I'm using just an all-in-one with the primer paint top coat. Um, and this is the linen white color, as you can see. Um, so we're going to get started. Um, and again, I just use a two and a half inch paintbrush because that's what I like. Um, you can use any size, any kind that you're comfortable with. Okay, so yesterday I went ahead and I put on the last and third coat um, on the bottom half. And so now I'm going to put a top coat on just the top of it. Remember, the paint that we use already has the top coat um, in it, so we don't need to worry about the bottom. But for the top, I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. It's a clear matte, and um, this is just the top coat that I like to use. I use a variety of different kinds um, and I'll show you those in other videos. But for today, this is what I'm gonna use. Um, when you use this, it says to shake for like two minutes. Make sure that you do that, otherwise it'll come out funny and it'll leave marks on your furniture. This is pretty quick drying. I'll wait about 30-45 minutes and then I will add another coat to it and then it'll be ready to put the hardware back on and, and we'll be able to get a final look at this buffet. Okay, here is the final piece. I'm so excited about the way this turned out. Um, as you can see, we didn't want anything too drastic with the top. We just want it to be a little darker and look smooth. Um, the wax coat or the spray coat turned out great. And here is an up close of the entire piece. Again, thank you for watching. I hope that this can be helpful to some of you who are just starting uh, refinishing furniture. And if you guys liked what you saw, please hit like, go ahead and follow and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, I would be so happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.